Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will talk about the Windows 8 Action Center and uh, focus a little more on uh, the different settings that you now have in the Action Center. Well, um, the Action Center for Windows uh, dates back to Windows XP and it's been pretty much the same Action Center for XP, Vista and Windows 7. Um, in Windows 8, they've actually added more features to the Action Center. And so you have more of the Windows 8 options that are actually tracked and verified for to make sure that your PC is safe and secure. So how do you get to the Action Center? Just go on the upper or lower right on the screen to get a Charms Bar. Like I said, um, if you have a touch screen, swipe from right to left and simply put action on the search click settings and there you'll have action center on the left side that you just touch or click so action center is now checking the state of your firewall if it's on or not the state of your windows update on or not, the virus protection, so here it says Windows Defender is helping protect, uh, spyware and unwanted software protection, Windows Defender once again, there's internet security, so um, here it tells you if all the perimeters of internet security are at the recommended level. The uh, user access control, which is what tells you when something or a for example, a system file might be modified for some way. Well, you'll be um, notified by the uh, user account control that something is happening in your computer when you're installing a new program, for example. Now it checks the smart screen, Windows smart screen, because it's inside Windows, which uh, is new. It didn't check uh, smart screen before because it was a feature that was only Internet Explorer. But now it's a Windows feature. Um, then you've got the, North, the network access protection, uh, which is another little feature here. And we'll talk more about the next network access protection. Here it says the uh, network access agent is not running. Um, it tells you if your Windows is activated, so you can click and view the activation details if you want. And um, if it's not activated, then you'll be able here to actually activate Windows. Um, if it's not, so um, I'm not clicking here because I'm. Uh, you'll see the Windows key of this computer, which is not a good idea to show to everyone. But um, that's where you might want to check for activation if it's not activated already. Normally, when you install Windows 8, it should do a activation uh, right away when it finds the internet the first time it boots. So um, usually that should work. And um, finally, it does check here uh, at the bottom the Microsoft account and it's telling you if it's working properly. So um, that's uh, another very interesting feature. There's also um, in the Action Center the maintenance of your computer, the automated, automated process of maintenance. Uh, so here you can see if there are uh, problems uh, so check for solutions to problem reports if there's any problems with something a driver for example that's failing or maybe uh, an error message that keeps coming up inside Windows this is the uh, solution center I could say if there's a solution or something that it can be done it will let you know um, there's automatic maintenance and here no action needed it says last run date the time and the date that it was run which is actually today at 1 p.m. and um, if you wanna manually do their maintenance you can click start maintenance and it's going to um, actually uh, you know do defrag for example if you don't defragment your computer stuff like that uh, eliminating some types of um,
temporary files and stuff like that. So having automated uh, maintenance is it's a pretty good idea here. And of course then you'll have home group. You can create your home group for your network. The file history, it's, pres it's presently off. Uh, it can actually check and um, compare files that uh, have changed version for example. Uh, file history feature works with the push button reset functionality of Windows 8 to create a more flexible way of restoring lost data than the uh, old method combination of previous files and uh, Windows backup. And drive status, all drives are working properly. Um, it actually tells you, for example, if the smart setting on your hard drive uh, tells that the hard drive is about to fail, it's going to tell you right here. So uh, lots of really new features inside the Action Center in Windows 8. And it's interesting to know that they are all there. If you ever need to change one of those settings, um, then you know now how to actually get to the Action Center and um, what type of settings can be changed. If you enjoy these videos, maybe you have that new Windows 8 machine, well, hey, click the subscribe button. You'll be informed when new videos are online. And uh, this is a great channel to learn more on how to use your Windows 8 machine. And um, if you have any comments, questions, or maybe a request of a feature you'd like to see reviewed, let us know. We'll try to put it online. And um, hey, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.